Welcome to the Was It Good Though podcast. We'll be bringing raw and unfiltered energy for each movie and TV show that we will be reviewing. Just think of it as turning your movie group chat into a podcast. I am one of your hosts. My name is Jazz. I am Jason. And man, per usual, I got some house rules I want to run through with you. So let's get started. One, we will be spoiling this review. So if you haven't seen it, you haven't watched it, please stop. Go check it out and then come listen to this review. Number two, please like, share, subscribe. Let your friends know. Let your church members know. Let your family know what we are doing over here at the Was It Good Though podcast. Number three, have fun. We just kicking shit, having fun with my friends. That's what we do. And last but not least, this is not a kid-friendly podcast. So if you're watching with your kids, that's something on you that has nothing to do with us. Let's get to this review. Oh, man. Here you go. All right, here we go. What's good, people? This is the What's Good Though podcast, podcast about movies and TV shows. I am one of your hosts. I am Jason. I am Jazz. And this week we have a double feature lined up for this episode. I feel like we've, have we done a double feature episode? Yeah. um, Our our anniversary, right? Yep. Was that the only one? Was there another one? I feel like it was another one. I think anything else was probably shows instead of movies. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. We did House of the Dragon and uh, She-Hulk. She-Hulk. We did She-Hulk. So um, this is a double feature uh, with father and daughter um, or father and daughters, technically. So, you know, it'll be interesting, interesting, but we had to get our, get one of our special guests back in here. KC, how you feeling, ma'am? How you feeling? Tired. <laughs> tired? Wait, why, why are you so tired, man? I work a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, trust me. I understand. I, yeah, I know. I understand. <laughs> that, 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 that work-life balance is super important. Um, in our in what we have going on, let the people know what you got going on and where they can find and follow you. Follow me, do you mm-hmm. want them to follow you? Okay, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's too many people as it is. So, no. <laughs> so you popular, all right, all right, that's what's up. No, wait. <laughs> That's, that's exactly that's exactly what they mean. That's exactly what they that's mean. That's what it sounds like to me. No, that's crazy. Thing. People get annoyed. That's all. This is 100% truth. This is 100% truth. But episode 120, we will be discussing The Trap or Trap uh, by M. Night Shyamalan. But we will also be discussing The Watchers from Ishana. Shyamalan. Now, the watches is on Max. Um, you can find the digital version of Trap out there. It is out there. I think it's still in movie theaters too, so you can watch it on both. Clearly, it's doing good in the box office. But when you make it PG thirteen and you include kids, you can you can kind of you can kind of do what what jazz what, what jazz what jazz. I don't nah, know what, what. Okay. We don't like that. You don't like the, that's that's like, that's like Batman without powers, like or Batman without without the gear. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to feel in that? That analogy is kind of wild. But, uh, Batman without the gear. You know. I mean, I'm just saying he was. And they were move, he, he was moving. He was moving impressively. You know what I think? So he, he was moving impressively throughout. You know, we talk about plot yeah. on the whole point. That's the whole point. Yeah, it was. It was. But let, 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 let's let's get. We let's, don't get to it. Oh, oh, we here. No, we we here now. <laughs> let's let's. Well, let's get, wait, what you before got? we get started, I got okay. some housekeeping. Because okay, I just want to go ahead and get this at the beginning of the episode before we get started. Because us over here at the Was It Good Though podcast, we booked and busy. I would say by the time this episode dropped, we would have been guests on three different podcasts. So I just want to give them a shout out. Um, we were guests on Council of Creators with our homeboy Chainsaw and his crew. The live stream dropped. Uh, it was September the 11th. So we've been on there a few times. We also have been guests on... Our folks talk at the uh, Talking Ish, a podcast amongst friends. We had a panel episode, The Low Value Theory, and that episode got wild. So I definitely recommend y'all check that out. Um, it's triggering. 
talking about Nick Cannon and uh, Cam Newton and all of those things. And then I was also on their latest episode that dropped called Trump Said What? And that dropped September 18th. So y'all definitely check them out. And we was also guest on Chappelle's podcast, uh, Recap Kickback. And we were talking about Rebel Ridge and some of the latest news going on in Black entertainment. Whew. And that was in a matter of a week and a half on top of dropping our own episodes. So definitely just yeah. wanted to give them a shout out. I'm going to need some yeah, people. Say, say it again. Hey, y'all, we got a mic in your face. Man, <laughs> man I just, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to need some baby wood to make this easy for me. You know what I'm it's saying? It's a lot out there. Well, it's I guess lot. it got confiscated. <laughs> like, a thousand? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I don't know what the fuck you need that many for, but I you know. Um but Wait, yeah, man. I'm sorry. What gotta, where y'all, we start? Y'all, y'all gotta y'all gotta leave Meek alone. Leave Meek alone. <laughs> that man ain't did nothing to y'all but be dumb. Let him be dumb in his <laughs> corner, but that man ain't did nothing to y'all. Let him be uh, <laughs> But yes, we gonna I'm, but I wanna start with Cooper. We're going to start with Cooper. Cooper and um, his daughter, uh, Riley, as they pull up to the concert. Um, I do think this was an interesting concept. Considering we've had like two or three different concert movies drop over the past year. Um, Of course, Taylor Swift had one. Beyonce had one. Um, I feel like I don't think that's I don't think that's it. But. I do think it's an interesting concept just playing off of that. Um, Jazz, what what did what did you think of this, this think, what did you think of the concept? We like your face is already <laughs> your, your face is giving me so much. Like I will say the concept I think was very creative. Um I kind of wish it was somebody else's idea and not M. Night Shyamalan. Because I think we would have gotten a more entertaining, feel-good suspense product, in my opinion. But I think the concept was great. I think the acting was... Nope. Let me, I'm getting a little t- ahead of myself. It was good seeing Josh. Josh, <laughs> Josh did his thing. So. <laughs> um, and Casey, I'm, I'm not going to ask you the same question because... It's, this is this is this may be a bit personal, so I'm a, I'm gonna be careful in how I say it and how I present present it to you. And I'm saying that now because I want you to just you know don't want you to shoot me or go into me in the crazy. Uh, but the Watchers, com- di- complete different concept movie concept of a movie um, about a grieving um, a grieving woman whose mother passed away in a car wreck. Which we find out later in well later down the road into the story, um, and it's more so I guess a, I guess about her being able to let go of the moment, but also being able to forgive herself. Um, what did you think about the concept? What did you think about the concept of the Watchers? I think it had potential. Did it reach it? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, but it just was so. Born. but yeah it was a good concept <laughs> hmm. okay okay um so of course with um i'm gonna be jumping i'm gonna be jumping around between the two movies just going back and forth between the two so cooper um cooper we kind of get we get it early we know yes he he's the villain of this story um uh, we're not sure how deep in it, he really, he, he really is, and I'm always watching the M Night Shyamalan movie. So of course, we're hanging on for this twist that's going to happen um, within this within the film. Uh, because now, in the first half of it, I was just like, bro, this this can't be real. This 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 can't be life. This guy's just like, <laughs> like I I don't know, man. It, it was just like so. The, the, they have a stadium full of cops. Men are in the building, and we understand what this person looks like, or a, a, a brief step. But it's like, why aren't y'all stopping every single man that comes into this building or whatnot to check, like to check them as they coming into the building? It's more you got 
It's profile it's talking. You got the goddamn workers talking. You got the workers not paying attention, or they they paying too much attention. Uh, Casey, what is how did you feel about Cooper finagling this system as he's inside this concert? I rooted for him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, Why? This movie made me root for like the bad guy. Like I wanted him to get out. <laughs> I don't know, like, and everybody was so stupid. Like, first of all, no black guy would tell like all the business like that. But I, I, I don't know. They deserved it. They deserved the you know, <laughs> good weight. <laughs> they deserved it. <laughs> but I rooted for him. I rooted for Cooper. <laughs> what about you, Jazz? <laughs> I think a piece of me was curious as to how he would get out. And that mm -hmm. might have been the only reason why I was like, I want him to get out just to see how he got there. Because mm -hmm. you can't just go through the metal detector. And then when we saw how he was able to do it, I said, all right, now. <laughs> all right, hell, hell nah, y'all. Because realistically, she's a big movie star. So you, you only have a driver. You don't have security. Like, it, I was just like, all right. Yeah, but it was a it was a lot disbelief of disbelief in reality. Suspend yeah. belief in this movie. You, you had to because it was just like, man, they gotta start giving you a warning at the beginning of the movie. What kind of warning? Don't take suspend your belief. Boom! Just like when we see Nicole Kidman talking about it feels good in a place like this. Be sure to uh, <laughs> suspend your belief for this movie. Then I'll be like, all right, thanks, Nicole. I appreciate you. But you supposed to? You supposed to do it anyway? You going to the movie? It's not real. We it's knew this. Not, we know this going in. Certain situations, though, it's like we could be like, okay, I can see that happening. There is <laughs> no way you looked at this and said, yeah, I can see that happening. So we just said we. So we just we just watched Rebel Ridge, mm -hmm. right? And with Rebel Ridge, everything in there is based on true true events. Um, I just found out it was based on like a um, a documentary, um, also a law about how police can seizure your property as long as it's over a certain amount without any say so um in that situation and then this i don't i i don't do you do y'all think it'd be real for police to set up a trap like this for somebody <laughs> like this this absorbing of trap like you there's tv shows where people jump inside of a car that's running and they drive and it just shuts, <laughs> shuts down on them and then the police like get him, get him. but like a, a nigga like they they like oh we got a serial killer we feel that he going to a concert we just gonna send we gonna send everybody here I'm thinking of the taxpayer's money. Because, like, that, that it had to be a lot. Of, and y'all let him get away. Several times. <laughs> Several different times. Which, Casey, what was your what was your favorite? I can't believe this nigga just did that moment. Um, <laughs> actually getting out of the concert, for one. Like, I do agree with Jazz. Like, there was no security, no nothing. You just walk right through. Like, they deserve that. And then getting out the house with cops everywhere. <laughs> I mean, that was trash, though. That was trash. Cause, that like, was worse than Woodsboro cops. Even the family, like, even the family, like, because they, because it was a few I times. I'm like, man. I thought the whole family was in on it. That would have been a that would have there's a few there's a few moments in here. We're gonna get to the twist, but we're gonna also see what twist would have made it hit made this movie hit better. Cause I, I feel like this movie, there was a lot of things that could have actually made this movie it could it could have took it to another level. I feel like it could have took it now. My level is probably the darkest. Probably. Probably. I don't know where y'all would have gone, but I think mine is the darkest. Um uh, we'll get there when we get there. Um, Jazz, what was your favorite? I can't believe this nigga just did that moment. When he got out that motherfucking limo, that's the first one. <laughs> when he got out the limo and was able to take all that police gear off and change it to regular clothes. Yeah. <laughs> and get out the limo. And I'm just like, all right. And then I'm going to say the house. Man, look here. Mine is at the concert. So the stuff when he him leave because by the time we got to him leaving, I'm like, oh, he getting out. Like he, there is no keeping him inside this building, which I was glad that was the second half to the movie. Because I'm like, man, if we in this concert the entire time, like the music I didn't love. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I didn't love the music. And it's it's just ain't it's just ain't it, it, I'm just saying it ain't my feet. Yes. However, yes. When the, the song, the, now when kid could the song with Kid Cuddy, that was hard. That that was hard to me. The kid <laughs> 
And uh, he said, I, I want to think, I want to say, I want to whatever kind of computer, you, bitch. Hey, mm-hmm. man, Kid Cudi, his last. <laughs> That man is crazy. Hey, I love hey, seeing him in projects, though. Hey man, kid, does he? He has so like ran- some of the smallest, the smallest random role. I didn't know he was in his movie. I'm just like, bro, is that kid cutting with a blue <laughs> wig? And he's snapping out, <laughs> winking, flirting. <laughs> I was just like, sir, what is you doing? But I will give her props, though, Lady Ooh. Raven. Okay, because she only had two. Guests perform with her, but the concert was all day. Was she didn't day. arrive late. <laughs> like they got their money's worth. And I was like, oh, she put on a show. Like they was going for what way from their seats, walking around and going back. I said, Well, damn, like that, nigga that had to be was, a Yeah, now nah, that nigga Cooper was that nigga was on some inspector game. He was playing cop the entire movie. Like, I'm like, bro, how how you leave and come back and it's a whole show still going on? Daughter done left out. Looking for him, show still going on. How didn't they notice him in the back when they was like having like a whole huddle? How they didn't notice that, <laughs> bro? That's my so, other one. He go to him walking into the police into the police room like nobody said. Let's check this huh? one random ass guy that's in here, regardless if he worked for this 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 business or not. And they just in there just talking openly about what they about to do, bro. You telling me any civilian can just be around and listen to these conversations? Yeah. Do you, the, yeah. Right, do, you, do you think the underlining um, message in this movie is how white privilege can get you in and out of situations? Hmm. Because would, the way I'll... that he was able to talk to everybody and make everybody feel so uncomfortable or comfortable, excuse me, even mm-hmm. though he was looking sketchy as fuck and how everything just went his way and I'm just sitting here like, look at this white man walking around just an- getting answers to all his questions, got the mic. He listening to the whole conversation because, yes, Dancing. it's a good idea to be speaking and telling everybody the business when there's a butcher that's <laughs> killed 12 people is walking around and we're checking every white male here. Uh, and, okay, I'm going to say this. The profiler, she reminded me of Mary Shaw from Dead Silence and I kept thinking she's going to kill some kids. I had doc- I had she reminded me of Dr. Loomis from Halloween, like the way she talked <coughs> and how he is. And I'm like, damn, okay, Dr. Loomis, yo, weak ass, so annoying. She ain't doing she ain't do nothing. Like she no, did man. nothing. No point. no point. Just a narrator for us. They're playing eerie music, and that was it. <laughs> what was the point? <laughs> like, you should no, be tired. And then he um, and then things were so convenient, bro. He grabbed, so he 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 throws the bottles inside the oil. Why this bitch watching oils and watching oil bottles? Like, why are you watching over that counter so (laughs) fast? I would have said, guys, look out! (laughs) Like, and he 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 grabs the first apron. He see he put it on the cop talking to him. Let me see your like. I would have. I need. Let me get your identification and let me get your. No, like how how, how do y'all? White man, but they, they, these are black people that he running into, not checking this information. Right. And you know what? Is M. Night Shyamalan racist? Because I'm look, sitting here thinking like, uh, look, y'all look. be giving Tim Burton the shit, and I'm like, M. Night. Yeah, but Tim, we know, we know, but we, but we, we, know, we know Tim Burton. We know Tim Burton yeah. is though. We we uh, ain't got to dig it. Because look, he, not. he, he, he is, is though. I don't know why you fight for this white man so tough. But look. He, the, his, the, his movies. The first, the first, the cop. He went into the room of cops. The black cop asked him for coffee. The black cop on the roof asked him for the for the the badge. The damn. Then we got the black vendor who just was so excited to have a white friend. To have a to give him the gave him the the, the uh, not the butcher knife but the the box cutter. Like bro, you just you just living. No, you know, like you as much information as you had. But he was so obsessed. With this man, he it wasn't it didn't even matter to him. He was just like, oh shit, this is just somebody I can talk to this bullshit about. Do you think it would have made the movie more interesting if he would have killed the guy with the t-shirt? Mm, if he would have killed somebody at the concert, I think that would have been dope. Like if he would have been killing people while he was at the concert, I think. Because it was just like he threw the lady, he threw the lady down the stairs. Nobody seen that. <laughs> His daughter was with him when he did this though. 
You know, I think she was drinking too much. <laughs> well, I mean, she was rocking. He didn't kill anyone in the movie, did he? Not in the movie, no. nah. He didn't kill anybody. Oh. It was just, he had already did all the killing he was going to do up to that point. The senior, the senior girl, like, that's what I was waiting for. He was. He definitely should have killed her. The singer. So yeah, Lady Raven should have got popped. Uh, that would have been. That would have been cool. But I feel like it was. I don't know, man. She this what, what it, was for her. Yeah. Uh-huh. Was, yeah. I mean, do y'all do you do you do you support nepotism, Jazz? I don't have any issue with it. That's not my business. That's not my privilege. But I will say there are some very good talent out there. When the, when the older generation was good and then the younger they came in, but you know, that's not I, that's not my fight. <laughs> what about you, KC? Do you do you support? Yeah, I um, I support it. I've benefited off of it. So yeah, <laughs> I support it. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it when I like it when it works, and the person that gets it. <laughs> The person that gets it actually fits the role. They fits the position. Right. So, Jazz, what did you think about Ladies Raven performance? Her acting performance? Oh, you're gonna ask me that question first. I thought it was garbage. <laughs> I didn't I, I thought it was like, why is she getting so much screen time? Her getting all that screen time at the concert, I get it cool. But then she kept hopping back up. And she's like, Oh, let, let's go to your house. Whoa, wait a minute, bitch. Like he is a butcher. He done killed 12 people. She seemed really calm for somebody in that mm-hmm. situation. And like he done change you up in the back of the limo. I, nah, she was she was trash for real. <laughs> like she showed back up later that night with her fucking driver who easily got out of the limo because of this white man. Yeah, M. Night might be racist because every black character made a terrible decision. Because her driver was black and he said, Josh was just like, oh, let me drive. Oh, all right. You, you, the singer in the back, she's your responsibility. <laughs> so you're just giving the car up to anybody. I mean, I guess he felt he, he felt the security felt with this safe. person. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't check. I don't know. Why he didn't. They, they didn't check. Checking identification is. It is. It is for the most part. Uh, what was the most insane thing that he did where you were just like, we talked about, you know, the thing he was like, what the fuck? But what was the most insane thing that he did? When he took his shirt off before he was about to try to kill his wife. Because why did you strip? What are you doing? <laughs> you know, M. Night is sick. He is a freaky frog. <laughs> and Josh take his shirt off, fold it up, try to kill his wife. And then they end up putting the shirt back on him when they arrested him. I think they got to be clothed. They're supposed to be clothed. So yeah. Why did his shirt come off? Is my question. I'm I don't know. Maybe he was gonna go like feral. He's, he's gonna Maybe be feral. He didn't want to get his shirt um dirty because then he have like um O C D or something like that. Didn't he have he like did. no then, Yeah, then he should have took his pants off too. It's okay, if, you, if, you, if you were better than this, <laughs> she said do the whole thing. The whole way. I guess. <laughs> See, look at this. This this would have gave this would have gave Jazz a half a point if the pants would have came off. That's crazy. It damn sure would have. I said, I am not. I am not. You're giving the people what they want to see. <laughs> She's trying Nobody to see Josh see tonight. <laughs> Total Nobody would see no damn lady raven. <laughs> Get that bit off bitch off the screen. <laughs> um ah, man. So during the show, of course, he he's listening and he's paying attention, and she she's she's basically dialing him down to to the to the T. Um, and then he try he he's thinking about making this diversion. As she's saying it, he's like, "Wait, <laughs> she this bitch know me? She know my body? Like, let me not let me not pull this fire alarm right now. Let me let me cause a different type of chaos, a different type of ruckus." As I'm going into it, and his, and his daughter even peeps it. She was like, "Dad, you acting real sketch, like kind of sketch, bro. Like, what are you, what, like, what you on?" Um, and I was curious if the friend thing would have been a deep. I thought he was gonna kill the the ex friend's mom because she was annoying as fuck at the concert as well. No point for them, any of them to be in the screen. Like, right? no point. <laughs> I guess it was more so to show. He just show how what type of person he was because his, his wife spoke on it she was like you lied to the neighbor and like 
you can even tell, like, you didn't even miss a beat. Like, you just kept on going when you were speaking. That's when I knew it's something off with you. So I'm going to be real. Like, I feel like he doesn't deserve the name The Butcher because he missed out on two bodies that he could have been able to snatch up. And if he was real about that shit, he would have just killed Isaac, who was chained up in the house. I would. He should have just pressed the button on the phone and just kill him too, just because. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. leaving too many people alive. He got sloppy. He got sloppy. Um, he had got caught. He had got caught off guard. So he wasn't really worried about that. He was like, "Man, I need to figure this part out." Because him killing Isaac, it didn't really matter if he did or not. If he did or didn't at that point, outside of just catching the body, like. Him that's catching all, that body, that's all you want to see. No, that's, that's all he does. I mean, he does. He said he he, he said he's going to his safe house just to think sometime. And then he think about <laughs> killing people. Um, and that gives him satisfaction. Do what you do. Bro, you? He probably could have been able to. He probably would have been able to enjoy that concert a lot more if he would have killed Isaac when he went to the bathroom. The probably just time. kept dancing. Just hit that. Right. He'd have been like, like that's a good song. <laughs> and Isaac is in the other screen dying. Bro, <laughs> this movie could have been a lot darker. And oh, oh, for sure. Like how he finessed, he finessed M Night Shyamalan. Told him about his daughter. Uh, got camp had, was a leukemia recovery. Oh, right. <laughs> to get his and daughter on stage, was... and they believed it just just like that. I would have liked if he would have beat well, him up too when he touched him. Like, that would have been dope too. If he would have beat him up when he touched him to, to, to come get him. I was like, man, I was like, ah, oh, he should have beat his ass or hit him or something. Do you think he still would have let his daughter on the stage? Because that would have made me change my mind. Hmm. That would have been a different. That would have been a, a. That would have been a great way to do to pivot to that. Like what happens to that? Like it could have been a situation where he pisses his daughter off. Even though I feel like the the moment he got caught was the moment that we actually see it, because she's she already feeling a way like, bro, I'm trying to enjoy this show. You keep leaving me while I'm watching the show by myself. Like I've I got cool with these girls, but like, bro, what you doing? Like, what do you want? I don't think she cared that he was there. <laughs> I don't think she did. She <laughs> did though. She 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 cared. I mean, but if you if your parent took you to like jazz, come on now. If your if your your your, your parent took you to go see. Shit, Usher in Vegas, like it, it, it's a, it's a different, you know what I'm saying? It, it probably ain't gonna be like if you was with your homegirls in Vegas. <laughs> oh. hey, look, if I'm, a, uh, I'm gonna get that chance with Usher, like Dad. No, yeah, I gotta what if, take it. No, I'm saying, yeah, okay, so yeah, Dad, like, what if you get your own Kiki Palmer moment, like you, you and your parents? In the section that Usher come it. through, he walking around I'm with cherries. He, <laughs> oh my god, yes. Opening the mouth. Yes, what you mean? <laughs> you gonna eat the cherry in front of your dad? Bruh, <laughs> I'm not focused on nobody but Usher and this cherry. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> we'll go pray about it on Sunday, but tonight, <laughs> yes, this is mine. <laughs> so well, wait, what up? What are y'all saying y'all not doing Casey? that? Doing what? You need to you gotta, you gotta you gotta you gotta give me something. You gotta you gotta give me you gotta give me somebody that you would be like you would like in conversation you would question it, but for real you'd be like, man, I'm going. I don't give it like I I'm I'm gonna have to have a conversation about this later, but I'm doing it. Like I don't know who you like like that, like to be Drake. You can say Drake. I would say Drake. You that's say Drake walking around the stadium. Hey, little mama, do Drake, Lamont, Drake hey, gonna try to feed you. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's gonna try. He gonna try to. He ain't gonna do no cherries. He's gonna try to give you a lunchable. <laughs> That's what Drake gonna try to <laughs> do. <Just> stop. <laughs> but if it's a pizza one, I'm gonna take it. Now that shit fire. <laughs> that pizza good. That pizza was so gross. Y'all talking about that pizza? <laughs> hey man, hey, that's that's my that's a guilty pleasure, bro. Hey, I never, I mean, you know, he, I've, I've never heated it up though. It's good heated it up. Like a little Do that. pizza. Do that, man. Yeah. Look, I don't never heat it up. I like it cold. You then savage. Like, <laughs> hey, look, I'd be like, I'd be like a uh, Terry from Reverie. I just pop that bitch open, just get to it, right? Then. That nigga was out there. Where did Terry get a skillet from? <laughs> he might have had one in his backpack because he had a um 
because he Jazz. had a, 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 a tent too. He uh, was prepared. Okay, he ain't yeah, took he... no shower in three <laughs> days. And I'm not going to uh, lie, if he was offering to feed me cherries, I would say yes. <laughs> that three day not washed body. <laughs> Yo. Ew. <laughs> hey, look though. That's that season, you know. <laughs> that's 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 that that season. I'm just, I mean, I'm just saying. Sometimes a natural body, you just like, you know, yeah. Let me, let me have it. Let me, let me have it. <laughs> See, I guess that's why Josh took his clothes off. He was like, this, nat this natural kid gonna feel real good when, <laughs> when I get your to blood, <laughs> your blood on my my chest. <laughs> And it's uh, your wife. Uh, uh, he he should have. He should have killed his wife. He should have killed her. That would have been. He but he should. He should have got so caught too. Somebody. Somebody. I wasn't upset with him getting away, but he should have caught a lot more bodies. Or blew the cops up M. and went into the house. Him. I think M Night is a little rusty. I don't think so. Cause I enjoyed the last movie. I know J Jazz didn't, but I enjoyed the last movie. The what last M Night movie. Uh, what was it called, Jazz? If the world ends well, today, Captain Woods. Captain Wood and yes, Cap. No, oh, I, I like that. Some knock at the a knock at the cabin, knock at the woods, no. or something like that. Cap. No. A knock at the cabin. A knock cabin at the cabin. Cabin in the woods. No, it's, it's called knock at a knock at the cabin. Knock oh, at the cabin. That yes. cabin in the woods is terrible. What? It's gross. It's terrible. Wait, cabin in the woods. Some at the one with the the one with uh Thor in it. I don't know. Nah, what, wasn't it like at the end? It might be a different movie I'm talking about, but like at the end, it was like they were in some type of facility. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a Kevin Kevin in the woods, woods. right? Huh? That's Kevin in the Woods, right? You didn't like that? Nah. Ah, that's wow. a slap. That's a slapper. Nah, that was that. fun. That was a fun. That was a fun ass horror movie. Nah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a fun ass horror movie. Kevin Fever. I like that. When the skin, when they was on um, their skin was eating each other, eating itself. Yeah, I remember yeah. That. they did a remake of that, and it was kind of ass. But the one that had the yeah. dude from Boy Meets World, show, yes, that was the original. Yeah, writer's good. Yeah, yeah, writer. Writer strong, right? No, wait, wait. Is it? Nah. Yeah, right. I feel like writer. It yeah, might yeah. be. He, he, yeah, he got to be. It's writer strong. Broke my heart. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, <laughs> so for me, um, well, not that the twist. <clears throat> uh, we got the twist of the movie. We find out that what you got, Jazz. I feel like you need to say something. You didn't speak. say who your person was. What's that? What was the question? Because my who, oh, who uh, Beyonce, uh, Beyonce, Lotto, Meg Thee Stallion, uh, Chloe, right, uh, right, Chloe. Right. Uh, Chloe uh, <laughs> Uh, sexy red. Uh, we can go. <laughs> oh god, ice spice, ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She at the bottom for me. <laughs> Component list. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can put Dochi in there now too. Hmm. I think she's super nice. Yeah, Dochi for sure. But Sizzle, mm. yeah, quite a few. All right, it's quite. <laughs> <laughs> Ten names. I only uh, asked for one. Okay, so the twist, twist of the movie. Um, it's the wife, it's the one who turned him in. Um, how did y'all feel about this twist? Casey, I'm gonna go with you. I'm gonna start with you. I didn't know that was a twist. Was that a <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, what you what you I mean, I, I, it, it gotta be a twist because you, you... So like the whole movie, I was looking for a twist and I could not find one. Like the entire movie. And I'm like, maybe the twist is just any trap they set, he gets out of it. Like that's a twist. Like there's nothing that can stop him. That's what I thought the twist was. I didn't know. You didn't. You didn't I mean, you didn't think you didn't. You didn't think the, the, his wife being the one that snitched on him after she was following him wasn't a mm -hmm. twist. Like you, you expected because she looked unsuspecting when she started hearing the information. Because at some point she was like, "Bitch, I know he's a butcher." Like at some point she should have said that when the girl was, which was also like, I, I don't know what Lady Raven was doing. Like even up to that point. I still thought they were in on it together until like they started talking. <laughs> like yeah. I thought she was a part of it. <clears throat> that would have been, been actually. That would have been hard. Them all sitting on the couch, like, see, hadn't you been online, this would have worked out perfectly. Yep. Now they gotta kill you. That would have been hard. 
Yeah, that was a better twist if they were all apart. So that's KC, Jazz. What would have been a better twist for you? Uh, what would have been a better twist, or did I like the twist? Both. Um, I did like the twist uh, with her setting that whole thing up, but you kind of put your daughter in harm's way, so that has me questioning the mom. But, you know, whatever. Because I'm just like, you could have easily called the cops on him and had them come to the house. Like, you could have saved so much money, and it would have just been two cops, boom. But you just like, oh, let's take it to the let's take it to the concert where it's like ten thousand people here. <laughs> but then I also think if you would have had him catch bodies while at the concert, then you would have saw the guilt in the wife. It would have been more heavy on her because those mm -hmm. people wouldn't have died if they if he would have killed people there. Because then she'd have been like, oh no, they could have gotten some big old fight, and he ended up killing her. And I would have still had him escape. Because for mm. some reason the cops letting him hug his kids and putting a fucking bike stand up straight just didn't seem threatening to them. <laughs> you got black people that get their asses beat for talking back. And this man done caught 12 bodies. Shoot this nigga on sight. Shoot man, on sight. That's it. I'm like, oh shit, y'all. I, th I thought I saw a gun. Is that look, not what. Art, art imitates life. Things are... Right. <laughs> So I don't know if I would have I had a better twist. Uh, I do like those, but I do feel like um, when he took Lady Raven limo <clears throat> and he handcuffed her to it, and they just out in public and all these people <clears throat> for whatever reason they just stop when they're in the car. Like they just they just know it's somebody faint. Like why did it, why were all these people outside? One that was my that was that was first issue. Two why didn't he run them over? I would have just ran them clean. I was like, yeah, you can see you're the butcher. Like, do some do some hardcore shit. Kill some. Run through the traffic. I was expecting him to run through the traffic. You know, but I was like, yeah, at this point, let's just turn it to a whole different movie. He could have ran them over. Stopped. He, he was getting away anyway. He could have stopped the car somewhere and then came back home. Like, that, all that could have still happened. He wouldn't have been able to go back home. Shit, why not? They, he did. <clears throat> they already they, knew who he was. What you going back home for? Your family's they he, gone. They weren't there. When he went, when he went home, they weren't there anyway. They left. No, they were at somebody else's house, but like, by the time he had Lady Raven handcuffed in the limo, the cops had already been to his house. He had escaped. What the what, wife? What, what, the wife wasn't at home? I thought the wife was at home when he went back to her. He went back, he he went back home. home. He sent the kids away. She stayed. Yeah, yeah she, she went back home. Like, I don't want to but I'm saying well, he went my, back okay, to the so, he went back into the house at the so end. So if you would have gotten away after killing those people in the street, why would you go back to your house to kill her wife? Yeah, because she she did this. It would be the last one. She was the one. She's the reason I'm in this problem. We we were. Well, I was good. My killing was good. I kept my killing separate from the family. Like the only reason I'm in trouble because the wife thought I was cheating, but I wasn't. Like why are you still mad? I'm not cheating. I've been doing a little killing. I'm just making myself happy. A little Outside kid. of you. A little no. kid. A little stab, stab, <laughs> a little pokey poke. <laughs> little bias, <laughs> little body chopped up. <laughs> she said she knew he was suspicious because he smelled clean. <laughs> That's crazy. But she said he smelled like hospital products, well, not yeah. regular cleaning products. Like, nah, She's you like, ain't. That don't smell like the, uh, the, the fire, fire department. department. You smell like the hospital clean. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing over what, there? What nurse you fucking? He should have. He should have been. He should have been cheating because then maybe he would have been able to have some more. Yep. Yeah. But we've been up to like twenty two right now. <laughs> he just went a little cheating a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of cheating in the hospital. Just bad one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was like, he said, he said, I can't see my family no more because of you, bro. What, nigga? You did this. Accountability. You're killing people. Compartmentalization tell, is an issue. I'm just like, so you cool with killing folks and you feel betrayed by me so you don't kill no more people? <laughs> That's scary. That's why you got to do background checks on people. Like, you got to... 
but it wasn't something that you could do. And I'm like, bro, how did I even know? You know, he had all these different issues with his mama. So then you got the, you know, Lady Raven, supposedly, uh, talking to the profiler. So she's like, no, Cooper, don't do it. You don't talk back to me. So Jazz, I'm going to ask, who gave a better pep talk? Mina to the Watchers <laughs> or Lady Raven to Cooper? Mina. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, Lady Raven was, I'm just like, you. she didn't put nothing in that. Her dad was like, honey, just read these lines. <laughs> Stop it, Cooper. You know mommy hates when you do that. I'm like, bitch, you're not going to give me nothing else? This is what you practice in the mirror? Uh, it like she was running lines in the mirror when she was saying it. <laughs> and then she was on Instagram getting people to help. I thought that was creative. I did think that was creative, but it was whack. It was like, so, hey, hey, I have a guy. He's in the place somewhere in Philly. There is a lion head's missing. Do you guys know what that is? We only have two minutes, guys. You hear all the commotion in the background. People fighting. And then after this, after all this happened, she said, Hey, Mrs. Cooper, your husband's the butcher. He's killed 12 people. You've left three innocent people in this house with the killer. <laughs> with nowhere to run to. That's There's when no he window. Just turned around and started slashing the butcher. <laughs> People. So I wanted her to come. Oh, that would have been, been like, my twist. Her com him coming into her coming into a room with just blood everywhere. Yeah. Why didn't she call the police? Why was that not <laughs> the first thought? But I think he was trying to say Gen X. They're not gonna call the police. They're gonna use the social media. Like he Every just seemed outlet. like his younger daughter helped him write this shit, and she was just like, "I would go live." I would have the people find where he lived at. That's like, I mean, that, was, just, that was that 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 is I a great like idea. I, I liked it, <clears throat> but <laughs> also called only. <laughs> I th so I think if you would have had a situation where in the house he turned on some device to where you couldn't make any outbound calls, but you could still get on Wi-Fi, which would have eliminated the whole chance of actually being able to use a phone and or like to call somebody then you can use a wi-fi to get on instagram live now that might be doing too much but it, it is because if i'm cooper the situation would have been where only i could use my phone but she took his phone but she took his phone but he should have had like a like a and, and, and even with that why is he just on the phone threatening her with this button Push the goddamn button. I understand why he was walking around with it. He like, ha ha, ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> like this bitch is in your house eating your food, performing music in your living room. Oh on my god! Your piano. This, this scene is an Oscar performance. She's like, hey, I can play a song. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the piano. <laughs> like, bro, what? Mm, mm, mm. It was a weird movie. Yeah. It was. Weird. It was. It was definitely that. Was but weird. of course, at the end, I really, he, he, I really thought ahead. she would be like the uh, the secret agent where it twist. Like she should have been something. She knew so much. I thought she was like a cop or like a, a relative or something. Like why would you? And why would you use her as bait in that situation? Like just in case of a situation with him. Nice. Nigga, this nigga nice. finessed his way from the floor seats to backstage <clears throat> through a matter of conversation. He pulled this woman in the room by herself. Nobody went in there with him to to make sure he was good, safe, to listen to the conversation and none. He, yeah, y'all looking for me. And I kill this nigga if you don't. If you say anything to anybody in this motherfucking building. Well, but I will kill him then. <laughs> And it started screaming like <laughs> at the top of my lungs, like kill me. Yeah. Damn, y'all, y'all are ruthless. <laughs> I mean, what's thirteen? He already did twenty. <laughs> like, That's true. That's true. And hypothetically, he was gonna die later tonight anyway. Anyway. I, I mean, technically, he, he would. <laughs> he, might, he might get sick. I can't think about Isaac. I gotta think about the people that 
the butcher might kill after Isaac. Yep. He said he already got Isaac. They gotta let that nigga go. Yeah. He'd be a martyr. Like <laughs> die for a great cause. <laughs> uh, but of course at the end he gets arrested. But he frees himself and we can assume he's gonna get free. So this wouldn't be the first movie where he kind of ends it where it's kind of left open. Um would you guys like to see a trilogy with Cooper <laughs> in it? Kind of like I'm so like li like listen, bro, st stay, with stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. <laughs> so we do a trilogy with 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 Cooper, but it's to the extent of glass, like the, the glass series, where you have unbreakable. This is the first character. So next time we may meet, I ain't gonna say a superhero, but somebody that's good at catching criminals or catching somebody or some to that extreme. The gray um, hair. Great fuck no. I you no, know, she needs to okay. die. She needs to never be back. Cause it <laughs> she could because clearly her advice didn't work. I'm just saying. Like it didn't, it did nothing. They should have just killed him on sight. It wasn't why are we bringing this guy in? What all he gonna do is manipulate a situation, which clearly he did. And he got out. I mean, we can assume he got out, but I, I think it'd be cool, especially in, in at the end of Glass. Um, of course, all them niggas did, but they left this 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 secret agent or whatever it is over the top. And maybe in that situation, they go and pull up Cooper and they need him to go find somebody. And they that that's that's the next move, you know. You, you done with Cooper, Jazz? You want you want that to be I'm the done end with of Cooper? Anything M Night Shyamalan even fucking drops for real. I just don't really enjoy his movies. So <laughs> you never seen been... you never okay, seen well, Six Sense though, right? No, I haven't. Have you seen The Village? I saw half of it, and I probably turned it off. That's probably one of my favorite half. ones. Okay, really, like, have, just... have, 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 have you seen the M Night Shyamalan movie? Signs. Yes. What movie did you have no. you seen? Not Trap. Let me look it up. Let me look it up because I really don't fuck with his stuff. Times <laughs> and the village. Mm, I think um so old was trash. Oh, knock in the cabin. You hated that too. Yeah, I ain't rock with that. Unbreakable was good. Oh yeah, you think you split? Uh, split was split good. was good. Split was good. What about glass? You like glass? The, the last one? I didn't see glass. I kept telling myself to watch it. Oh, and Fuck he did it. the I... happening, which is where the trees was killing people that you told me, which is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, no. that could really happen though. Like, I know it that's can. why it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scary for real. Yeah, yeah, them, uh, them, them fighting back against us because we are fucking up the ozone. Which reminds, I was on the way home. I'm on the end. I'm like, man, this is a whole bunch of smoke. So I'm on fire. Hell no, it's just one car, just a whole dust dress. You are fucking up the. You are fucking up the ozone layer with that car. He's killing us, man. <laughs> go put that us. bitch. Go park that bitch. Like, had yeah, the road windows up. Could even enjoy the breeze no more. Don't add thing to the look. It's okay, bro. <laughs> but back to the watches, man. This is a Shana Shyamalan, M Night Shyamalan's daughter. This is her first. Day first feature film debut. Um, one thing I got to shout out first is I it kind of it made me think of men when I was watching this. Like a lot of the angles or the camera, the way the camera work was one of my favorite things because it it showed it only gave you visuals of the characters that we following. Everybody else, they're kind of you see them, but they're kind of shaded out, blacked out. Kind of like if you look at if you're looking, if you're watching this visually, you can see behind jazz. You can see how everybody's kind of faded out outside the person they want you to focus on. Um, jazz, what did you think about the ain't well think about the cinematography of this film? I definitely enjoyed it. Um, I like how we weren't really able to see the creatures until probably more than halfway into the movie. Because mm -hmm. at first, I didn't think it was any kind of creatures at all. Or I didn't think the creatures were, we got what, uh, I wasn't expecting what we got. Because at first I was just like, watch it just be some wild animal or some shit. And we get a, a history of that, which made me also appreciate the story that they were telling. But I think the visuals of this were really good. And I'm glad I saw it in theaters. But I can see if anybody just like, nah, I wouldn't. This is a movie that's just like, oh, it has a great theater experience. But 
it made me enjoy the movie a lot more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about what about you, Kendall? How did you feel about the cinematography of this film? I know you weren't the biggest fan, of, or what was it? Let me ask you this. Okay, so I yeah, think one of the biggest issues with watching this movie is I chose to watch it while under the influence, so that might have been it. So, <laughs> so, but that you, that, so, that that heightens movies for no, me. No, but I see when you sent that in the in the uh, group chat, I was gonna say that probably isn't the best way to see this. It was movie. too late. Like it was. Why? <laughs> but why not, Jay? I think not. that's my favorite way to watch movies. I had this. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm like, oh I'm my, I watch. This looks like a scary cool. Then I get in it, and I'm like. Okay. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. And then I'm like, oh my God, they're giant people. Like, <laughs> I thought it was. I'm like, these giant people? Like, that's, I don't know. But like, as far as like the cinematography and all that stuff, like that was really well done. It's just, the plot just was not plotting for me. And I think that's because I was under the influence. It could have been. But I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, I get that. For me, yeah. movies like this, I personally wouldn't watch under the influence because it's a lot of dialogue and the story is moving at a very slower pace. So mm -hmm. if I'm vibing, I want something that's more upbeat and that's giving me some action. That's just me. Like Long Legs is not a good hot movie, in my opinion. Trapped, yes, because it's outlandish, it's ridiculous, and you just like, damn, he just pushed her down the steps and you're laughing. There was nothing to laugh at in this, and when I'm vibing, I need something to laugh at. See, when I get so when I'm when I'm to my my level, <clears throat> when I'm watching movies or TV or listening to music, it's just it's like a it's a feel that I'm trying to go. It's a feel I'm looking for whenever I'm watching. So if I'm watching like a, when I'm watching Tales of Ninja Turtle, amazing cinematography, great animation, the story was fucking amazing from beginning to end you kind of you following on you're like oh shit let me shit what, what what was this nigga doing when this is going on what what was this nigga doing on what what was the motivation behind this where are we going with this story so it kind of it gives you the whole thing of the the world building and then when i watch a horror movie i like to place myself into the movie like i want to be one of the characters that's you know about to get killed or whatever so it may be 12 o'clock at night I'm getting, you know, getting in the, getting in my mode. <clears throat> I'm got my laptop since my now um, RIP to my tablet. I'm using my laptop and watching a movie, TV, <clears throat> whatever it is. I'm outside, so headphones on. So I'm I'm isolating myself from certain things, and it's just like, nigga, you are really out here watching this horror movie. It, like, nigga, you, you are you, you hearing shit? Like, wait, nigga, you taking the headphones off trying to see what what? <laughs> What was that? I told Jesse. I told Jesse. I said, "My boy, see the goddamn spider so big. I'm just outside walking around, opening doors. A fucking spider just right there. I'm like, oh shit, let me close this back up. You ain't tell me that, but I'm glad you didn't. I didn't tell you. <laughs> I, I just see the spider so big. We ain't got to talk about it. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't well, I'm not gonna send you a picture or nothing. But I, I saw. I saw one about this big today at work. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to let it live. I was like, no, you're going to come and get Kill me with my left Kill it. So I had to yeah. step on it like three or four times for it to actually die. Yeah. <laughs> um, but. <laughs> so. Uh, Mina. We get Mina. Uh, Mina gets tasked by her boss to take this, this trip down this country road to drop this damn bird off. Are you accepting this job, Jazz? If I ain't got nothing else going on in my life, and every time I go out, I use a different name and profession. Let's let's go. I I I, I be like it is what it is. I'm depressed. It's just me. I cut everybody else off. Me and this bird. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Nah. <clears throat> mm 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 mm. No, no, no. No, I, I wouldn't probably have. wouldn't have continued driving when the road was no longer available and it was just grass. I would have yeah. stopped and was just like, yeah. well, let's, let's pivot. I don't understand why those type of people 
those type of people, right? They see that type of stuff and go, ooh, an adventure. Like, no, that's danger. Like, don't go that way. Yeah, like, nah, I mean it. It's out. Like, why do you guys do <laughs> <laughs> and me and it's and it's always that one person that wants to come into the group and fuck it up and be adventurous. Now, in that situation, now they just trying to they just trying to live and they trying to extend like now nah, you been here how long? Six, four, five months? Oh no, I can't, I can't, I ain't, I ain't. she 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 started no, I got I got I got some I got some to live for now. I so so like, I was gonna ask y'all like if y'all were in that situation, how long are you staying there until you just like it's time to go. Casey, how long are you going to be like, uh, nah, we're not doing this? Like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to run for it like the third day. Cause I don't want to be in here with these people. Like, <laughs> the third day, I'm not going to be acting and sitting in this room with a glass. Like, I'm not. So if I die, I die. But I'm not staying here. I would not be there for like days and days and days. I'm out. I'm going to run to that I'm trying to survive. I'd be out there doing something. You would think I was Rambo out there the way I would be just cutting up random animals, seeing if they taste good. So, so, how, so you just moving out there, Jason? That's that's your life. <laughs> what, 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 what I supposed to do? Just die? Escape? He would not live in the woods, like right? Nah, I ain't done that. I ain't that. I'm, I'm not that nigga. I'm just saying, if I if it came down to some survival skills, I think I could figure some shit out though. I, don't, I, that, I just think that because I don't understand when she when the car stopped, I would have instantly just started walking back up the road. Like I yeah. wouldn't have went deeper into the. What are you going deeper into the forest for? I don't know why she went further in the forest, and plus I don't understand why she took that bird. Not gonna lie, the bird would have been let free because I'm not walking around and running through the forest with a bird cage. With a cage, I'm not doing that. No, I would have. Right there, and now he can say is please don't die or whatever the fuck he kept on saying. You going you going to die? Like, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, don't die on me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you don't talk, bitch. Now you talking. I was gonna ask y'all since obviously this is a movie where our main character had a pet companion. Do y'all have a favorite movie where the main character or one of the main secondary characters had a pet, and that was your, your favorite? You know, I'm like my damn movies, no pets in it, man. Oh gosh! Right now, probably a quiet place. Man, fuck damn, that movie. Man, fuck I mean, that movie. I mean, the villain though, actually. The cat. Ah. That's my nope. <laughs> that cat was. Do you have a, a movie where an animal was like? I I really don't like animal movies like that. Like I think it's strange. not an animal movie, but the there was the, the oh, main okay. character had an animal. They always die. Every movie like that, they always die. Got to do little. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good. That's a good pick. They, <laughs> they, they always they always die though. They ain't never been no straight. No, we're not strays. But that was a, that was a dog a movie about animals though. Yeah, a bunch of animals. Marley and Me, <laughs> uh, the movie with Marley. Janet Tatum. <laughs> Like it, all the movies where they have a dog, an animal, it's like the my second. dog Skip. <laughs> I'm saying, but I, I am legend. <laughs> Yo, oh my they god, hate animals. Free Willie? Oh no, Willie got free. Willie didn't die. Okay, Willie didn't. Am gonna be a hope. Yeah, well, that's the only thing that died in there. <laughs> should more more bodies should got collected in that house. I I don't know, man. I'm, any movie with an animal, you just they always Beethoven end up didn't die. Beethoven did not the name, die. The name, the name of the movie is Beethoven. Here, it's about the damn dog. Beethoven died. But Marley nah. and me, Marley is the dog, so it doesn't matter. And that dog died. Beethoven didn't die. I mean, maybe in part two. Yeah, because he got a part two. Yeah, Beethoven. All dogs go to heaven. <gasps> Homeward Bound. Hmm. With the dog, the cat, and or the two well, dogs and a cat. One hundred and one dimension. I just don't fuck with animals like that, bro. <laughs> I like monster movies. Like Godzilla or something. <laughs> the King Kong. I, I I become the old that's the old man I become. The Jurassic Park watching. Uh, <laughs> uh, like shit. Yeah. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, but the birds saved their lives in the end, so it did. It did. Uh I feel like they need they need a bird and uh bird watch. What's that movie called? Not yes, bird, watch. bird box. Bird box. They need a bird, right? 
Yeah, because <laughs> it helped them know when it was coming. Uh, whenever, so I mean, animals they they got that 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 third sense or sense, sixth sense, whatever it is, where they can figure figure out the thing. But she makes that it cemetery. in cemetery. <laughs> that one died though. <laughs> <laughs> Not this nigga here, man. <laughs> Cujo, nah, just man. Uh, <laughs> Cujo's a good one. <laughs> so to put him down. The sand lot. Yes. This. Oh, the dog. dog. Yeah. That dog didn't die. He didn't die. He was just a bad ass. Oh, the dog. dog. But hold on. The dog that was in the little rascals. Yes. Yes. With the uh with the eye circle eye. Yeah. 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 Uh 101 Dalmatians. You got that. Um technically it was just about them and Glenn Close. That's crazy. Um <laughs> they're trying to make a code. Look who's look who's talking now. Is that is that one? Or is that no, just a baby? Oh, look, so you, got, you got look who's talking, look who's talking to, and then look who's talking now, which is look who's talking now is the third one. That's the one with the animals. Is that is wait, is it John, is John, babies. Which one is John Travolta in that? I don't know if he's in the third one, but I can look it up. One of them is like the do, like the they, they be talking to the dogs. Doctor Doolittle. No, 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 no. Like it's like it's, it's there. If I'm not mistaken, I feel like it's there. Oh, I could be tripping too, though. Mm -hmm. Now she said, Dr. Doolittle. Come on, now. I know that. She looking it up. <laughs> yeah, look who's talking now is with the dogs. John Travolta and Chrissy Alley were both in all three. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, but she makes it into the forest and she sees this random white lady that's telling her to come over here if you want to live which I have gone in there if y'all wanted to live no <laughs> random lady in the woods is telling me to come on in here I'm not going on in there I'm not I'm good. Girl, this is our girl from Bird Box like she just always just trusting some white people ain't it yeah like she gonna get me I don't want it was in part two that. Uh, that one you on League of Thrones, girl. was it? Yeah, 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 the black, the black girl. girl. The black, yeah, the black girl, the black girl. And I know the white lady from something else, too. I, some we recently watched. She was watched. in Men, uh, Men on Fire. Oh, no, the white woman, she was in uh, Tarot, and she was in oh, Texas she. Chainsaw Massacre. Ah, uh, that's what she... She stayed dying. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a change. Her like hair is, is amazing, though. Her hair is the same in yeah. every movie. Put a coat on it. Let's put a coat on her. <laughs> Got some suspenders and a cowboy hat on her. <laughs> Put it in that shiki. <laughs> Better not. Better not. <laughs> some bantu knots. Oh my god! <laughs> Looking like an old Adele. <laughs> be crazy. Oh, um, but yeah, I would like. So I don't, you know, they went inside this little this room, and allegedly the the watchers are adapting themselves and learning what they're doing and how they do it to to figure things out and they give them these she had been there long enough she watched dvds and she reciting them as they come up like i'm like bro and it's like bullshit tv like why are they giving real some good tv so let me ask y'all this let's say you locked in here <laughs> now everybody got a skill they got to show the watchers what, what skill are y'all showing? I'd be, I'd be fucking on that little glass. Oh like, like, what? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You I was sitting it. here like, if it would have been a cutie or something ish in there, we would have just been a two for one for the watchers. It's like, <laughs> I don't know because because Shorty talking about she can, she dance, she dance, she in there doing ballerina like ballet. I'm like man, if you don't get the fuck out of here with that dumb ass shit. Was the hey. entire time just twerking. <laughs> <laughs> the watchers. That would be great in a school film. But did you hear the watchers like cheering you on on the outside? If, you, if you're doing Bro, good, if you trash, they over there pulling you. We got to bring back scary <laughs> movie because that I think that'll be a perfect scene. They go into the room. And then somebody started, it was like, don't turn your back to him. Then somebody turned their back and started twerking. And they would, you just hear them clapping, like on the, in the back with their big hands, six fingers. <laughs> and then somebody started whistling. <laughs> 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 
dollar bill just just <laughs> hey man Yo, the watchers throwing money would be crazy they'd be, they, they be throwing they'd be throwing something different they wouldn't be throwing money they'd be throwing fruit fruits and limbs at the glasses so, they'd be like oh, they really like her <laughs> <laughs> and who never who didn't who didn't suspect the white bitch who didn't suspect that like you know too many things regardless of how long you've been here bro you are a suspect you are the you are the problem but she was trying to help them that's why i didn't think too much of her being suspicious but i definitely thought she was hiding stuff from them and then when oh buddy left her outside <laughs> <laughs> he was like fuck both of y'all and him and the black girl was just gonna be in there I would've beat his ass yeah, I would've I would've, beat his ass too. I, under, I, under, I, under, I understood, I understood him he killed somebody that night <laughs> <laughs> that's the skill you wanna teach them the watchers <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they already know how to do it they killed a girl's husband in the opening scene of the movie yeah I was gonna ask y'all. Do y'all oh, yeah, think that was? Yeah. A, do y'all think that was a a, a um a watcher that came to the to the, to the door? Hell yeah, because they transformed it to his body later on. Yeah. Now, why he was out there naked, I have no idea. Well, why <laughs> why his wife didn't question it? Because if my husband, who I haven't seen, jazz. Now it was been two weeks. I'd have been like, "Yep, come on in. You don't Bro. need no clothes." What? Why you dick out? <laughs> Bro, I'm this okay. So she knew damn well. She asked him what book it was. And he was like, nah, I don't know. Like, you know that nigga would have knew. You know he would have knew. You're gonna force him to know the answer. She said, No, you do know. Tell me. Why did that why did that remind me of like, is you cheating on me? Hell yeah. No, you're not. No, you're not cheating on me. <laughs> It's like, I mean, he kind of told you the truth, but you don't want to believe it. Oh, man, but that, I mean, that's what that's what uh, Madeline did. She said, you know, I, I kind of told you all the truth a little bit. Like she slid that in there real smooth. Like, like I told you all the truth. I mean, kind of, <laughs> not for real though. Like it's there if you if you pay attention, it's there. Like you you y'all just ain't paying enough attention. Um, but not eating real meals, like bro, of course they're not paying all the way attention. And then Mina, like, I'm trying to understand how she 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 gets out here and her first her first shit, she been out there two, three days. This motherfucker already done figured out, hey, I'm going into the boroughs. I don't care what that what they said. I'm she was wild. I'm like, so you going down there? Oh, okay. Know. That bitch brought back a bike? Like she brought back a lot of stuff because I thought somebody was gonna ride that bike off into throughout the woods. Cause I then mean. it give you some speed. Mm-hmm. Compared to your feet, I was good on that bike. No hands, God. I'd have been <laughs> We just be swerving through. Not trying not to hit a tree. <laughs> Metal, it's just like, what did you do? I ain't do nothing. What you see? I ain't see nothing. She just lying to her face. I know, Madden I'm like this bitch is trying to mess up what I done built. I'm over here trying to copy these two. And I got this heifer right here. Mm -hmm. Throwing a wrench in her old program. <clears throat> they should. Somebody should have. Somebody should have. Somebody should have. Uh, but of course, when they went in the room, <clears throat> um, the watchers began to to bust it up. They began to try to bring down the house <clears throat> as they in there. But during this moment is when they see there's a trap door up under this. So you telling me? In five months, you ain't never moved everything in the room to try to see if there's other shit in this motherfucker. Because we ain't going to talk about Madeline. Because we knew Madeline was was the created. She'd been in this bitch for, for, for 20 years. No, for 23 years. Like, we knew this. Because she died in 2001. She'd been in here since... <laughs> for 23 years, 2024. So, like, I... I, I don't know. I, I just don't like they just kind of went along with whatever she had to say because she had the most nice. Like, bro, nah, we gotta. She was old. Mm -mm. It's really because she's old and she got all that long gray hair. They was like, she's so wise. So I'm just gonna listen to her. Like, no. Nah. See, that's what I'm saying. It's the second. It's the second movie with a black person that don't make no sense. But she might be mixed race. I can't even say if she's black because you know when you leave when she from the UK, black, she might mix race. So. Yeah, <laughs> she mixed. She mixed rice. She, she, she mixed rice. 
For sure. For sure. He stay surviving because I thought she was going to die. I thought when her husband showed up and that she was going to take a, a tumble. And I was rooting for it a little bit because I'm just like, we need more bodies. Like, they they don't give us enough kills, in my opinion. <clears throat> yeah. I think it's always, it's just like the lurking threat is there. Like, it's just supposed to have you on edge the entire time. Like, they, they don't do it every time. I or most times. All during this movie, I was just like, oh, okay. I was like in a lazy river on a float. Like, okay. A lazy I? river. Yeah. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I love the lazy river. <laughs> they cool. They cool. I love they cool. those. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they, I guess they, they figure out, they as they get down into the little tunnel, they start to watch the videos. And we see this doctor and per usual jazz. Um, are you an Aliens fan, Kendall? Aliens? Aliens, yeah. Aliens. Yeah, I've seen a couple of them, not all of them. Yeah. I saw so, the this, last so this is what this this kind of reminded me of that to a certain extent, because it's always some white man trying to study or get an understanding of a <clears throat> another world worldly experience. And you can see this motherfucker can change. Like you're watching this person be able to change into whatever it wants. So you still wanna you still want to play with this little thing. Like, you, what, what, what is your... It took him 300 days to realize he had fucked up. I'm <laughs> curious about how many of those builders got killed because he said the workers were still there after dark and he knew about it. He went down his little cabin and his little shelter and he heard all of them people get killed by the, um, the watchers. And he was just like, this was built on um, the blood of uh, others. Like, innocent that's blood. fucked up. Right. Just all for his his research. And then his bitch ass had the nerve to die. Like, he, why did we see him get killed? He killed himself, right? I don't remember how he went out. It's a, I think I, I, assume, I assume he killed himself because he took the gun. He's like, I got one for the, I got one bullet for him. I got one bullet for me. Or he got killed. Like one thing or the other. But um, one thing it did, it, it brought up that made it, I think Jazz, you brought it to my attention when they mentioned the changeling, um, which was a, a dope, dope beginning to a story. Crazy fucking ending. And I don't mean good in a good way. Um, which is how I mean, kind of made sense because like, this kind of was kind of like that too uh, in that TV show. Have you ever watched that, The Changeling? Uh, Kendall, there's an old movie, but there's Changeling? a TV show. Yeah. No, I've heard of Changelings, but no, I haven't seen that. What's Changelings? I don't know. I just heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's every time I I hear Changelings, it sounds like something scary. Actually, <laughs> so do I don't we, know. Do we know why uh, Kira was down there? Because I know. Uh, well, not necessarily why they why she was down there, but like everybody kind of had like something that they was coping with and they had to get over. Um, Daniel, of course, his uh his dad was beating him. Mina was getting over depth of her mom, but they ever say what was wrong with Kira? I don't remember. I don't recall them ever mentioning why she or what happened to get them or land them down uh, inside the house or whatever that building was. So it's got to be. For you to get stuck there, you gotta just be going through something, or like carrying some type of emotional load. Like, from... like imagine this. That's, that's how they portrayed it, right? That's what. That's what I'm thinking. That's why I was like, did she have something? Because I didn't hear anything. I don't know, but because I know, like, once you go into the forest, like you kind of in there, which is why mm -hmm. she couldn't go back to her car. So imagine she she was out there with a homegirl. They both go into the forest. The homegirl ain't carrying no emotional load. <laughs> this is fine. She still see the car and she go to it. But then Nina turn around like, damn, where's this go? That'd, that'd be crazy. crazy. Yeah, yeah, that'd be crazy. And then the girl turn around. Like, I she no back girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. to where it's just like, y'all kind of on different planes. Like, reality planes. Yeah, I yeah. I feel like I've seen movies like that, though. <clears throat> It's like a, a Freddy versus a Freddy Cougar type movie. 
It sounds like somebody was like they stuck this person stuck over here and you stuck over here and it's like I say like stuff like they can maybe like it's oh the upside down uh stranger things it's kind of like that where one person gets stuck in a place and they y'all be crossing <clears throat> each other in the same place but y'all in a different place at the same time. That makes sense. Kind of like when uh, Eleven was seeing Max, but Max yeah. didn't see her. Yeah, she was yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I got you. You didn't watch. You didn't. You didn't watch. You, you watched Seventy Eight yet? Talking no. about jazz. Oh, okay. I I was like Seventy Eight. I'm like okay, yeah, Fish Street Seventy Eight. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, I haven't. Okay. Yo, oh my I god. Know? I, oh my god! The first one was fire. Yeah. Like the first one was good, so I gotta watch the second one. This yeah. shit crazy. The second one crazy. <laughs> I'm excited. I watch those with my niece. Those are great. Yeah, yeah. I'm on three now, so in the Salem witch trials. <laughs> but did Madeline ever say what her skill was to show the watchers? <laughs> Just be natural, be normal. That's why, that, and that's. Y'all. Just do what you what you normally would do, and if and like and that's what it, that's what it felt like. It felt like saw at that moment. It's the one person that's in the game that ain't really in the game, and that right. this person is just studying y'all, and y'all don't even know it. Like she's just picking mm-hmm. up on different stuff, and she learned it from them. Which, of course, at the end, we see she had been learning from Kira. Cause like I, I don't. What was her end goal? Like she could could she even create more of herself? Like. Nah, I think she was just, I don't know. She got bullied as a kid because she's a halfling. I get it. It sucks. But I guess to try to go find more halflings. But I don't know why she was stalking Nina, though. Especially stalking her as a little kid. Like, girl, if you don't grow your ass up, go get you some hoes and live your best halfling life. Go create some more halflings. you said what? Go and go and create some old halflings. Don't do that. <laughs> they gonna turn out <laughs> halflings. Yeah. <laughs> so did y'all ever? Sorry. No, you good. Go ahead. Did y'all ever think that maybe this is all in that girl head? And Mina's head. Yeah. That's what I took from it. Like Hot. at first, yes. But when okay. she went to Kira House, nah, I, I was like, yeah, nah, not no more. And did they did they report any of this information? Like they just just went back That's home and just thinking it was in her head because they didn't report it, they didn't do anything. It's just so like she if, if y'all was Nina, <laughs> would you report that? I'd be like, the woods tried to get me. Yeah, <laughs> the woods got got giant. I don't, I don't know. That'll be that's that's a tough one, Jazz. Because I mean, niggas died. Like you know, niggas died. Nobody knows that I know that nigga died. Uh, yeah, but you know who that nigga. But you can pull up. You can pull up information. Like, hey, I'm not doing all of they that. Wouldn't they wouldn't right. believe. They wouldn't believe. The but if they, but they, but but they know who he is. They send the send the police into it. Like, hey, it was a we was in the forest. Oh, we so escaped. you're putting those police in danger to go find a dead body? Yeah, because it's it's something out there oh, that y'all okay. need. It's something out there y'all need to go out there and kill. Because they never tried to shoot him or nothing. They just let them just no beat their ass. Because I'm talking about the post. I, I'm saying I'm saying they they didn't. So let's see what happens when they get guns on their ass. What what, what happens then? You've seen movies with vampires? Oh well, no, they're not vampires. Wait. That's why I was confused because I'm just like, so y'all only come out at night. Are y'all vampires? But I guess not because you can transform into people. And are you eating these people? Shapeshifters. They are people, right? I thought they were just like... Because they're kind of like fairies. Because they used to be cool with humans and then niggas just probably start shading each other. And humans probably doing some, some they crazy do. shit. But they was fucking each other too. Because uh. that's how that's how you got halflings. You had humans over here sleeping with changelings. Mm-hmm. Horny bastards. You telling me you wouldn't? If there's a fine changeling out there, I might try. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Jeez>, killing <laughs> me. <laughs> Tall too. Yeah. Tall like Rumblings, but he gotta have a package. 
No. <laughs> his, his body was crazy. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I would throw that one away. <laughs> Kill that change the right there. <laughs> Oh, that nigga scary looking. Shoot him. Shoot him right now. What did y'all think about hey, these third? Put that one down. Oh, yellow style. <laughs> what y'all think about the uh the, the third act of this movie? I think it was the least. I, I, how she was able to talk down Madeline, I think was kind of trash. What? Yep. But she was beating their ass, though. I mean, you went there to kill them, and then you decided to stop because she told you there's more halflings out there, and you didn't deserve to get bullied. Like, girl, that's that's unrealistic. What right. is? That's real unrealistic. I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to go find the other ones, too. Like... Mm. hmm it didn't make what sense. Like, why am I leaving you after I just threw you into the window, into yeah. the walls? You would you you would sit there and try to fight her? No, no. I think I just would like play dead. Like, I would have played dead. Like, you got it. You got. You don't think it. they would? You don't think they would have <laughs> tested your body to make sure you was dead or not? I just would have held my breath. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have done the same thing. I'd be like, "Why are you still here? You see, <laughs> okay. I'm not moving no more." <laughs> You know how yeah, fucked up that's gotta be Just sit there and be like let me make sure they dead Knowing good and well You knew you could kill me easily And they're, you're killing me for no reason I right. can't take you back to the forest So you're free We got you out I did you a favor So go hang out Like I don't She wanna live as, she wanna live as, as them Into the real world like, She can go know. live but, all right. She could've First picked off, anybody Truly any missing she person? She could have picked anybody. Daniel. She could have been Daniel. I... No, like, she don't... Like, <laughs> don't leave. Daniel ain't got no money. She probably was like, I don't want to be Daniel. Daniel ain't got no money. But then Nina really didn't have money either. She seemed like she kind of hated her job. Actually, the black girl's the one who life she should have. Yeah, probably she did. Because she I mean, had she, a nice she, ass she, house. I mean, technically, she did. Hell, she was going to take her out when she got home. <laughs> <laughs> She had a nice house. Yeah, yeah. I knew something was wrong when all them lights was off too. I was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, she wanted them too. She wanted them ones too. But she could, but she could walk in the daylight though. So I mean, that wouldn't have been, that shouldn't have been the problem for her. But I, I feel it. Like when she started doing, I'm like, I don't think that's her. Like, it, cause she was like, when she told, showed her, she was like, I mean, like, what you want me to do, bitch? I ain't gonna lie. I didn't realize it until I seen all them damn roaches in that thing. I'm like, you nasty bitch. And then I was like, oh, <laughs> it's probably <laughs> the changeling. It's it's a watcher in here. Yeah, they ain't, watching the, come from. they ain't watching the house clearly. They ain't washing them dishes. <laughs> I'm like, what they? I was like, that's crazy. So you mean oh. to tell me the black sis was gone all day shopping while this watcher, halfling, excuse me, came in her house, changed into her, and just decided, I'm just going to Put roaches in your sink? I, man, it, I mean, I guess I don't. Yeah, I don't. That part I didn't understand. Like, where, where, where would the roaches come from? Like, why would they be there? Like, it unless it was just like, well, they had been missing for five months. Maybe that's where the roaches came. from. <laughs> was she? She had got home before that, right? So, like, clean your damn house. Like, how long had they been? How long had they had? Had they been home? For a while, right? I don't know. Huh. They didn't really say, it. but I Cause mean, because she, she went to the she went to the office. She went to the office the next day. And stuff. The next day, it wasn't like she there was time in between. Hmm. She went to her house too because she had. I don't know. I, they probably been home for at least twenty four to forty eight hours, long enough not to have no damn family of roaches in your sink. And hmm. if you've been gone for five months. Ain't nobody try to come check on you. Yo, like your house is still in good condition because me, I would have been like, yo, we gotta sell that. Get some money off of that house. Yeah. Man, all these people was just like, well, only three of them just went missing. Nobody was didn't care, looking for them and nothing. Like outside Mina's sister, 
Uh, she had called, but shit, she showed ain't answer. She wasn't answering. She screamed them calls. That's sad. <laughs> Nobody cares. That's so sad. And maybe that's where the grief come from, or the issue really stem from. Nobody caring or seeming to care uh, in that situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, huh. Um. But I think that's all I got for this movie. Uh, oh shit! In trap, there there was an end credit uh, <laughs> at the end with the black guy, uh, where he kind of tells his tell he done talking. I'm like, why was you talking anyway? And talking that fucking much, <laughs> like, bro, you was doing. So you gave him the code. You told him where to go. You told him what was going on. You you gave him all the information. This man ain't gave you nothing, but he spoke to you. And just because he said you know him now. Right. Now that's unrealistic. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I I be working with some people. And I just I just, and I just sometimes be scratching my head like, did you really shit? This but can't I mean, be life. I feel, like, I feel like all of the staff got prepared, at least with some type of knowledge of what the suspect may look like. Mm-hmm. Tall white male. Even if it was just white male, I'm not telling any white male that comes up to me that, oh, wait, they lay in a trap for the butcher who would right. since you all know all the information. You probably can tell it's a white male. And then that he's supposed to be there. Are you telling him the cold word? <laughs> Come on. Hamilton. It would have been dope oh, soundtrack, like a little clip of the soundtrack played. <laughs> but, did, you, did y'all like the character in the movie? No. <laughs> Who the black guy? Yeah, the black guy. He was entertaining, but I feel like his stupidity was over. It was exaggerated. Yeah, he was a bit too stupid. Too so, I was like, "Come on, man, come on, you got to, you got to get something else. Give something else." <laughs> um, but I see you do a lot of voice. He does a lot of voice acting in children TV shows. So, shout out to him. Um, shout out to him being on the screen. But of course. The reason that we are here. Was it good though? Kendall, I'm gonna start with you. The trap or trap. Was it good though? I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Mm-hmm. It was a fun watch. It was fun. And I and I laughed a lot. So that was I guess it was <laughs> yeah, because I laughed. It was fun and entertaining. To me. Yeah. <laughs> I like the jazz. The trap. Was it good though? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I was like, I, I had too many. Come on, man. I knew it was it. Such a- but I knew. Nah. No. I knew going into it, my expectations were low anyway. But like I said before, I think the concept of it was very creative, but I feel like probably somebody else would have been able to execute this a lot better than M. Night Shyamalan. Who would Sorry. you have given? Who would you have given this to? I, I think Jordan Peele could have did something good with this. I think the gentleman. Um, hey, you got me thinking about different creators. I'm trying to think who comes to mind. You put me on the spot. Somebody else, though. Got you. Got you. Well, I I enjoy. I I enjoyed it. I enjoy trap. It was a lot of lot of bullshit up in it. So it's just like, yeah, I gotta go. You just gotta be stupid to watch. Not necessarily stupid to enjoy, but it gotta be, you know. Like um uh, the watches, jazz. We're gonna start with you. Was it good though? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I enjoyed the watchers. <laughs> but I can understand why anybody would think this is movie was boring. Yeah, yeah. Kendall, the watchers. Was it good though? No. No. <laughs> no. What was missing for you? I think you know it was a boring watch, but like if the ending had like been a little bit better and thought out, it could have made it enjoyable. Just like, girl, there's others like you, and you shouldn't have been bullied. And then she just flies away. Like that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Not you <laughs> And like just flies away. Like first of all, you got wings. Like I don't like. <laughs> like it was stupid. Like 
don't leave me after you just beat me up. I'm coming back to get you. <laughs> like, so no, no, she should have killed. She should have killed her. I, no, I didn't like it. <laughs> no. Had she died with the hell? Had she died, would you have enjoyed it more? Yes. Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> and, and, uh, you said the the changeling killing the human, or the human killing the changeling. Either or, like if it would have been like a big fight instead of her just like throwing her around, throwing both of them around, just being like, okay, now I'm going to go fly away. If it had been like a bit a better fight, it would have been a little bit better. Yeah, like not necessarily That's even like killing any anybody, but like just give me a fight, like some type of action. It was nah. Mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that, Jazz. You have some people's. What What do you think, those? <laughs> you got to write that name down. I do not, unfortunately. And okay. I dropped for two different movies. Uh, Pussies. Pussy. <laughs> people say he trap. I don't give a fuck what they talking about or what they don't want to talk about. They say he trap. On God. On God. They say it. Jason, <laughs> was it good, though? The Watchers. It was. It was. I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it. Okay. Cool enjoy to watch. Cool to watch. I enjoy both. I enjoy both. Don't love them, but I did enjoy them. Um, Link of Thrones. Now, um, of course, we all have been a part of these. We don't need one for each film. If you just want to pick one, one person from a film, it works. Um, Kendall, we'll start with you since you are our guest. Um, Link of Thrones is, is, is picking a character right out of it and then picking a different movie or TV show, right? Yeah, so just picking. Yeah, so my bad because I didn't send a template. You know, it just like <laughs> you, you know, you know the routine. I, you know, but I'm a, I'm gonna start treat. I gotta I gotta treat the old guests like new guests moving forward. I definitely <laughs> treat you like you a part of the team, which you are. Oh. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, Link of Thrones. Let me explain it just to make sure for our first time listeners, last time listeners, and all that good shit. Link yeah. of Thrones is the section of the podcast where we put you onto a movie or TV show that one of the actors in this film was in. Um, a project that they have coming up, part of the day, um, very not very well known or something that is or well, was a banger in their catalog. So, Kendall, we will start with you. Okay, um, Kid Cudi, right from um, Trap. Mm -hmm. I think there's a, there's a TV show that everyone should should you know enjoy and watch, and that's How to Make It in America. It was only two seasons, but it was a really good TV show. I feel like I've heard about it. I've never watched it, but I feel like I've heard about it before. It was just about like two friends trying to make it into the industry of like fashion. And all the ins and outs of that through, you know, working in New York and Kid Cudi was one of the characters in it. Yeah. Hmm. But it was a really good movie. It was a really good TV show. They just canceled it before it's time. Yeah. Hmm. They do that with a lot of good shows. They do. With me, I am going to go with Georgina Campbell. I think she was the other young lady that was in The Forest. Alexis from the Watchers. She was in Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the lady with the titties. Like James. <laughs> 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 uh, all right. So I'm going to go with Mr. Jonathan Langdon. Um, this was, of course, this was Jamie, the, the guy that was um, helping Cooper uh, the entire time. He is the new voice of Barney in the animated series. So shout out to that black man. There's an animated series called Barney's World. Yeah. Wow. Okay. It comes out in October. It hasn't even dropped yet, but we're putting it on something that's new. Yeah, I'm going to watch that. Yeah, you can't even see that. So let me stop. I, I stopped. I, I, I looked up, I said, why? <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but this is episode 120 the double feature podcast we talk about the watchers 
and trap. Um, next week, um, Black Candle will be back. Um, we'll be talking about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice one yeah. and two. Um, so that'll be a fun one. That'll be a fun one. Yes. Thinking about it, Jay. Oh, that's a double feature. I mean, it's not, it's not a double feature, but I'm pretty sure we're going to go into it. We're going to talk, we we talk about Beetle Juice. I'm sure we're going to talk about Beetle Juice. They, they used the Easter eggs in those moments pretty well. Jason, you ain't got to put me on Beetle Juice. I've been on Beetle Juice. You just got over. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 but yeah, yeah, Beetlejuice. Wow. Uh, currently, episode one nineteen. No, yes, one nineteen is out right now. Uh, we <laughs> we did another remake or whatever. Uh, the Crow. Uh, we talked about the Crow episode one nineteen. It was doing pretty well. Um, I seen on YouTube. So yeah, shout out to us. Shout out to y'all. Um, Kendall, I appreciate you as always. Have you on the podcast? We got you next week as well. So that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be a fun one. Uh, Beetlejuice was a it, it was it, it was oh, an interesting and, movie. Oh, go ahead. I don't think I'm Michael Jackson. Okay, like if anybody sees it, I don't think. I have yeah. That's it. <laughs> ah, you over here? Ah, yeah, see. sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, Jay, we see Jay. We just talked about it. We did. We did recap. Pick, pick back. We got to make sure we take care of our bodies and our health and all that good yeah. stuff. So. So we helped as well. You got your my daughter. She messed up. She jammed her fingers playing volleyball. So she out. I started my feet. Pop them goddamn fingers and get back out there and hit that damn ball <laughs> with the other hand. That's your off hand too. You better get out there and figure it out. Shit, Kobe. Hope, uh, you know what I'm saying? Good, 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 good heel, her hand. But let me get my joke off, Jason. Damn, like I'm gonna talk shit. When I was talking to KC about like you did, like, I did. I let but, you get it off. I laughed, but then you came back with the book. You gotta <laughs> think about our health. Yeah, I'm like, we know oh, that's, oh. That's, that's pertinent. That's pertinent information. That's important. Okay. So, uh, Pete, we black. All right, Dad. <laughs> we niggas. All right, Dad. We gotta make sure we good here, living. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Look at my piano. No, no. <laughs> right. Nah, that's how Diddy was. Look at my baby oil. <laughs> that nigga, nigga, that nigga was not. That, I'm not. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. That nigga was not suggesting the baby oil. That nigga was big. He was just, he just, he was just spraying you. You come in a room. He just, just seemed like he growled too. He, he probably growled too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a pit take bull. That, take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Like, bro, what? That's take cool, it. I just want to know who was in the rooms. I just want to know who was in the rooms. We already know them, me. Them, them, them niggas, them niggas is them niggas is they they booty they booty cheeks is clenched right now. They can probably they could probably pick up a grape with their ass. Cause they, they don't know what oh, he finna say. Look at this nigga. Oh, <laughs> this nigga is sick, man. Or an apple. <laughs> saying um Twitter saying that Jay and Beyonce is next to get this book. Jay and Beyonce is always next. They they they're always next. That's 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 been the story for twenty years. They got some hard NDAs, so that's all. Man, it's yeah. NDA fire. We don't hear. They said mm. Drake probably gonna get scooped up in that too. Drake Drake don't even like that. That that's one situation we got to worry about <laughs> with Drake. Drake and Diddy ain't no situation. I, I just maybe I mean maybe back in the day because I I seen a video recently when Drake was like. You know, looked up to you and all this other shit. Was this was before? Like, hey, was this was this before or after I, look, he put hands and feet on Drake's ass? Look, he, he might have put more. He might have put more on Drake's ass. I don't know. No, no. Was, I, for, I I forgot y'all stands. My bad. Did it? No, no, it's not about stand. Did he beat up J Cole? And he beat up Drake. Yeah, these are facts. Look, they can be he facts. Had to blow up to the car, right? He tried. He blew up Kid Cudi's car, he and he tried. And in the game said, when Jake and Drake was always talking about people trying to kill him, that was Diddy out there trying to kill him when he was in L in L A. If it come out that Diddy had something to do with Tupac's death, it's already we already out. knew that though. Right? It's already that's already out. I mean, what you mean like was... like like concrete evidence? You mean? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it's speculation. About... Somebody already in jail right now. Yeah, he uh -huh. been singing though. Yeah. yeah, them niggas be singing about anything, you know, to get get less time. Somebody was like, "You think they're gonna be somebody bigger than Diddy?" No, 
the, 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 whoever did it, name ain't gonna even matter. He be like, yeah, nigga, we don't care. We got you. We got yeah. you. Until a bigger name drop. Who be, ain't, ain't, there, there ain't I no big. There, there is no bigger name than Diddy. It doesn't have to be a. It Jay-Z? doesn't have to be a music artist though. You do realize his hand was in so many different areas and spaces. <laughs> So I mean, we got for president that rape people. So like, America clearly into rape, rape culture. Do they really care? You know, like <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, black, black people, people don't like our. Boosie out of here. Yeah, Boosie need to get up out of here. They need white men now. This white man now. He's just. I mean, he's just a. He's just an old southern. Nigga, nah, that's that's, that's it. Like, he just an old southern nigga. I'm like not. I'm not giving him a pass. Excuse. Old southern. I'm not pastor. giving him a pass. He's like, just. A, he's an old southern nigga. They just. That's just. That's just how they look at it. I don't have to associate with them. And like, if it was we we together, I wouldn't allow you to talk like that. But it's like, yeah, nah. You just be looking at folks like uh, yeah, you should be going to jail doing all all of us do. Like all y'all are doing that. I. I mean. Right. Yeah, he, he got slaves. He got, like I, I, I'm like yeah. Thanos. That one right over there. <laughs> <laughs> Snap his ass. Like, man, yeah, I don't I'm know, man. Sometimes, man. sometimes, sometimes, I, I like I said, I, I feel like people they will sacrifice their freedom of speech. Like they, they just feel like anything can be said. But I mean, at the same time, I mean, it's boosted. Like, what do we expect him to come out here and just be the one saying the right thing? Like, I. You know, I, is there a celebrity you can count on to say the right thing every time they like Kevin Hart? Think he it, but no, you said Taylor Swift. Yep, she gonna say the right thing every time. I don't, I don't know. I don't know nothing about Taylor Swift. I don't know nothing about. I don't know, know nothing about. But like she, she endorsed Kamala. Boy, so. they they gonna be in a fluster <laughs> when her nigga tape drop. Her bruh. saying nigga when that drop, they oh, gonna be so flustered. Bruh. Beyonce gonna come out with a new country album. That shit gonna be crazy. Taylor said a nigga, and I'm finna come around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that's so crazy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, I heard singing that and not rapping it. I mean, I'm saying she gonna sing it, and she, you know, and you she know, say, you know, "I'm gonna come running, I'm gonna be swift with it, I'm gonna kick <laughs> ass down with it." <laughs> Hey, that's hard. I'm telling you, it's gonna be some. It's gonna be some. She gonna turn up on that bitch. <laughs> I I ain't not be high. You think them Swifties? Fuck the Swifties. Yo. <laughs> the beehive and the Swifties going at it while the Navy just sitting on the sidelines. Like, mm, look at them niggas. Man, nah, the Navy. And the barbs just going crazy because they just snort a nine of Coke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. And that pink, that pink dust. What was the pink dress? That pink dust. That That's the shit that Diddy had that the pink, the pink, the pink lace coat. <laughs> like, what that be like, Bruh, Somebody bring me some coke. That's pink. Like, bring me coke is already crazy. Bring me some pink coke. That's real crazy. Like, how you know how much you gotta be doing to have an IV drip after days and days? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so <laughs> that's crazy. I don't want to cut no bill. However, I was listening to Tank, and he said. <laughs> He said that Pleasure P gave him some IV drips because he said he was partying too much and that helped to like to rejuvenate him. So is it like, you know, I, mean, I feel like that's just like the celebrity thing to do. I mean, if you've been fucking seven days straight and taking pink Coke, <laughs> ain't nobody gave you no water for real or no real food. <laughs> I mean, I just feel like it's probably depends on your level of activities. And yeah, like what is he in there doing? Man, you know, like I mean, he just, I mean, he he's just, I mean, he living a he was living this celebrity life, bachelor whatever lifestyle. Um, wow. yeah, keep that, man. that the video, drink. that video, when he, he started dropped. drugging people. Then that's when it's just like, all right, yeah, nigga, yeah he yeah, dropped. That's he, you're doing some <laughs> criminal creep shit. When he dropped that video, yeah, that was um, that was wild. That the video of him. Abusing Cassie, yeah, nice. Nah, it's, yeah. it's raps. Like, I he is so many different things that he had, and like, why would you have like, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm not one to be like how to catch a murderer or, or how to get away with murder or 
why would you keep the tapes? Like, what, what are you doing? Like, every now and again, you popping me in, man. I remember that time. I'll fuck shit out of Meek Mill. Turn it off. That's what messed up R. Kelly. But, like, but hold on. All right. Jason's example, and then I'm going to go to you because I know that you're big into crime dogs. If it's a sex tape and it was fire because we recently just talked about this, you might just be like, oh, let me go back and look. Now, if it was on some weird criminal type shit, then no, my nigga. Like, that's going to be wild. But if it's a fire sex tape and it's got editing, graphics and shit, if that goes to the court system, ain't no crime being happening. You know what I'm saying? So like, if it's a sex tape where ain't no crime happening, then I would this, save it. But you this, committing crimes. This kind of felt like, like these tapes he had kind of felt like Dennis from, I don't know if y'all ever watched it, but Dennis from Always Sunny in Philadelphia, like He's basically that character where he brings women into the room. There's only one lock on the door and it's on the outside, not on the inside. It's just like, bro, what? Why are you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, they play, they play, and, they, and they play more into that. And it's like, I get it. But like, you know, white people kind of, they, they kind of dark in the, the, the humor that they have. So playing into being this, this um, woman abuser or, you know, person that plays in the room in a comedy is like, okay. That's a little too much. Like, right. it's like it was funny at first. It's like, all right, y'all really playing with this a bit much. When reality start to seep in, you just like, I should be laughing at this shit. Because it was like that was they did. It was one episode, <clears throat> and he did. It was when the escape rooms became a thing. So they had an escape room episode, and it was like, wait, why the fuck? Why is Dennis? There's no lock in the room. It's only on the outside. He was like, why is that? It was like, oh shit, that's kind of. Kind of crazy. So, like, if he was going there, how the fuck he supposed to get out? Like, <laughs> yeah. We said we had this together. People, man. But Casey, no. I was gonna mention how, like, because you you watch crime docs and like serial killers and stuff like that. Yeah, and a lot of them is. It, now, I mean, I do too. So, I'm, but it's just like it, they mention a lot of them keeping souvenirs. Yeah. To where, like, a lot of them. Like, that's what it seems like. It's 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 a trophy. Just right. It's, it's it's more so from like just what I've been like watching and whatever. It's more so like you get off on the power, right? So he might like seeing himself in this very powerful, you know, position of like torturing people, and that makes him get off even when they're not around, you know. Mm -hmm. So it might be that like that same thing like that. Caught R. Kelly like they don't ever throw away their stuff. Like it's stupid, and it's also a TV show, like that um, Dexter. That's where I get that from. Mm. Y'all ever seen Dexter? I feel like I tried to watch it, but mm. I didn't really get too far into it. But I heard it's good. Yeah, eight seasons. We got a prequel um, coming out. I see a serial killer working in the in the um, police station. It's good. Mm. He, he, it's like trap too because he almost gets caught too. <laughs> And you don't like it's well. I don't know because there's like new a new season out now, so I don't know. But he's like old man now. Yeah, but it's really good. Like I'm, I'm trying to watch the game. It's a really good movie. It's a really good TV show, and it really teaches you how those people that get off on that type of stuff like keep stuff, and that's their downfall. Yeah, like they get too big. For their own brains, and then they forget that they're they can get caught too still. Or like Diddy might have like all this money put in to the police stations or whatever, whatever. They think that nobody can touch them, but like no, you can get me touched too. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah but that was his downfall. Like all the baby oil, throw <laughs> that out. Like, I don't <laughs> see it, like. You know how long it takes to 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 use baby oil, and he had thousands of bottles of it. Like that's crazy. Mm. I just want to know what he was doing without a baby oil. He might have been stocking up for an upcoming party. Yeah, did you read the indictment papers? Because <laughs> you you think I read? I read those, and like, <laughs> they, would like rent out, they would like buy uh rent out like hotels and stock them with. The party favors that they needed, you know, like set up the rooms and stuff like that for the freak offs. 
So it could have mm-hmm. been like he never did it in his house, he did it in hotels. Right. I don't I don't want to go to the free. I've never I've, I've never been to the free call. Jazz, would you attend the free call? Not Diddy's, just a free call. Nah. I'm good. Kendall, would you attend the free call? No, I wanted to go to see um a swingers party. Like I wanted to go see what they do, like or like a sex club. Like I just wanted to like go in and watch. I didn't want to participate. And that's always been a thing for me. Like I've always wanted to just go see how weird it gets in there. So you want to be the watchers? Yeah, I want to be a watcher. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good, great full circle moment, huh? You know, that's why you didn't like the movie. You want to be watching here. Yeah. <laughs> Terrorizing and watching motherfuckers. Boo! <laughs> did you try? <laughs> Imagine being in a swing club and seeing somebody like, oh, you <laughs> You gotta put your, in my yeah. mind, in my mind, if I'm there, you gotta put out your best moves because if you had an audience, you're not at the house just like, oh, it's just us. Like, it's people walking back and forth. Like, you gotta be like, put on a show. You better stretch good, like yeah. all of and it. And and at these swinger parties, is it like a is it like the, a regular party to us? You know what I'm saying? Like, are you in there like just getting on different women, just getting a little a little tap tap, or is it like are you completing the completing the job with every person you see? Like, I, like are you just deciding on the one and we gonna vibe tonight, and it's a different person next time you come? Like, how does how does the how wonder how the vibes go? What I heard and was told from a specific person, um, yeah, you just go in there, you ask a certain person, hey, you want to go do this? And if they say yes, you go do it. Like, mm. it's like that. Like, you just go in and be like... But, like, do you... Is it like a, like... You only get this one person and, and now the party's done? Like, or do you get... Oh, the, you can do multiple. Oh, you can keep going. Okay, okay. But I know okay. that... They don't let you like drink or do drugs in those in those places. Yeah, so you can't drink or do drugs. Well, that's no so fun. <laughs> yeah, but, but that's like to keep it safe thing. though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, is it though? It safe is. from what? Se- Nigga, what? what? No, I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh, you saying dr- drinking drugs? I mean, shit. If, 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 I'm just saying, if they on that type of time, I promise you. They don't have to drink a drug to be on that type of time. I mean, I can understand why it's best to not have it there in them situations, just to yeah. keep the possibility of something going mm-hmm. wrong, because you don't want to fuck want it to fuck up the vibes. But I had a friend who went to one, and how it was set up was you had people that was just there to watch, and you had people that wanted to participate. And I think the people that wanted to participate, they had to do, uh, like, of course, take sexually transmitted disease like they had to get tested and everything just so i mean i'm not gonna lie if you about to go there and participate you want to make sure everybody is clean that'd be wild like, you can't just have nobody in there they got the bumps on the dick and like hey who wanna like whoa why can't uh, get everybody here? got the bumps everybody got you can't that's and that fucks up the vibes imagine so Imagine you misread your partner and y'all going to the swinger party, you going to watch and they and that bitch to participate. You're like, whoa, what you got on? So <laughs> that means y'all are on two different pages and y'all right. might get to be together no more. <laughs> this is why I gotta find out it. Like, what what is but how, that that conversation should get brought up, or at least that question. So, like, yeah. what you sign up for? Because <laughs> my bracelet is red and yours is blue. <laughs> so <laughs> You got, you got, you got, you got, you got like an extra, you got extra drink. You know, I don't drink like that. You got like drinks that come with yours. Like, right, what, like what is, what is, what is you? Mm, you, like you go, you start smack an ass or something. You start reading down. You start reading down the list of things they can do. It's like this is the blue, this is the green, this is the purple, this is the yellow, and this is the red. You were like, oh my god, is this is, is are you breaking up? With me? No, 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 no. I just need more so, limitations on my, my experience out here. Like, how much of a shock is that in real time? Because I'm not going to lie. Well, it would be trap. Like, it would turn into trap. That Like, they wouldn't make it to the party, like, at that point. It's like, y'all get there, then they just be like, oh, I'm about to go over here. <laughs> you just get caught up in another couple that's there, and you was like, oh, damn, they tra-. you thinking you learning tips. 
Then you go into another room. You see this dude going in on this chick. Like, damn, he killing that. And it's <laughs> your dude. <laughs> bro, he killing that. <laughs> Imagine you walking through these rooms. You see somebody getting killed from the back. And they look back. And you're like, oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I would be in so much shock. I'd be like, that's not my nigga. Nah, let me call him. His phone on him. <laughs> and then I hear it ringing from that room. It's in, his, it's in his shoe. It's in his shoe. Oh, you hear the vibration. <laughs> and, he goes, and look, and then the crazy thing in his phone, in his, in his phone is a picture of you and him all hugged up. <laughs> My wifey. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there like, he's doing that move on her. <laughs> she got the same high pitch as me. <laughs> oh, be like, wait, he ain't never did me like that before. Hey, he's sweating that like hell. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I Please talk you. to your partner before y'all go to any kind of sex club. <laughs> it will do y'all both justice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh man, it's some it's some wild things out there, though, man. I've 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 seen like I've seen not to that extent, but I've seen some stuff, and I was just like, man, y'all nigga, I'm like, whoa, this this is real, and y'all broke. Like I can only imagine the rich people what they version look like. Mm. Bro, you know they be doing in Dubai, mm. pissing shit at them. Yeah, for it was crazy. Like they had them, they had the women in there eating it, like eating shit out the bucket for fifty thousand dollars piece, and they was in there doing it. Man, look, they got bills to pay, and they ain't trying. They trying. They trying. They trying to live a life. They trying to live a different life. Hey, to live a different life, you got to be willing. You know what I'm saying? Do you think they request them? Do you think they request what food they should eat beforehand? Like go eat some spinach and some vegetables. No, you mean, you, you, mean, you, you, mean the the you think you think you think the women tell the, the men? The ladies they, be they like, suggest. "Could you please eat this?" Yeah, oh, I think I think should. I I think you should. I think that I think you should be able to request it. Like they get to live. They just I don't. But I mean, I, I don't. I don't think that shit matter. How this shit gonna be? What if that shit run? <laughs> 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 He say, I got you a shake. A shit shake. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh, no. A shit shake. Bruh. Oh. Put some icing on it. Oh, that's okay. Mm-mm. I don't know how we got here. Oh, no, did he? <laughs> did he do it? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> did he? <laughs> but, <Get> man. <laughs> Oh, Diddy gotta go. <laughs> but man, this is episode 120. Double feature the trap slash the watchers from the M Night Shyamalan family. Shout out to y'all doing y'all big one eh, 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 and all that good stuff. Um, but we got another one coming up. Uh, her, her directorial debut, and that was pretty good watch. Pretty good watch. Another double feature. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be a an interesting conversation with that Blink one. Blink twice and strange darling. Oh, y'all yeah. doing Blink twice? Yeah, yeah, that's a, <laughs> that's gonna be one. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna, that's gonna, yeah, yeah. You have you seen you, you haven't seen Strange Darling? I, I still gotta watch it. Ah, uh, you gotta peep that. You gotta peep yeah. that. You gotta peep that. I think Strange <laughs> Darling. So jazz. Which did make sense? <clears throat> Blink twice. If you watch Blink twice, Strange Darling back to back, they kind of kind of coexist with each other. Not really. Like it was it wasn't made for that. But if you watch them, they make sense back to back. But mm -hmm. I watched what was what was the two movies? Subservience and um. Damn, what was the other was movie? Because you watched the AI movie. Yeah, the subservience was the movie with Megan Fox, but it was another movie. I feel like it was recent. What was the other one? But they kind of went together. Like I was like, bro, you watch AI? That's an old ass movie. It's called Subservience. 
Oh, Megan, man, Megan man, Fox is. I'm like, AI was good. Well, unless you talk about well, Terminator. Terminator. Nah. Terminator. Terminator makes sense, but it wasn't Terminator. Uh, let me see. Horror, horror. Let me speak. Speak no evil. Speak no evil. And then seeing subservience. Them two well, movies go together. Yes. Yes. Them two movies go together. I'm trying to go see that one next. Which one? Speak no evil. Oh, yeah. You got to peep that. You definitely got to peep that. Peep that. Yeah, that nigga uh, James McAvoy, a beast. That's why I'm, I'm shocked you ain't never seen Glass, James. Say who? Glass. I haven't seen Split. Oh, I haven't seen Split. Huh? I didn't watch Glass. Split. Either. He's in Glass too, though. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Um, I mean, they all come together because that's yeah. the Samuel Jackson one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, technically, nigga, like, the first time he falls, it's like his bones break. I'm like. Yeah. Sensitive ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> but, Man. I'm gonna so, try that one day. <laughs> but yeah, same which one? Glass. I'm trying to remember. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's when they finally put unbreakable All together, right? Like, with split, yeah, and they try to he try to well, he's not trying to make them do anything, they just do it, but he just evil and they trying to yeah, it's 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 kinda crazy. <laughs> kinda crazy, kinda crazy. But <clears throat> until next time. I bid you adieu. This episode 120 for a feature. What's it? Movie for the double, double feature. feature. And it's trap. <laughs> trap. The, the trap. trap. I know that's the TI movie. Trap and the Watchers. Um, like I said, yeah. Yeah. The Watchers on Max, you gotta go find um. The trap. You gotta, you gotta find a trap. It's on digital, trap. and you can go to the movies and still see that one. So, yes, do that. I am one of your hosts. I am Jason. I am Jazz. Thank you, y'all. Please be sure to like, subscribe, <clears throat> rate, review. And we're getting ready for our uh, Halloween kickoff. And of course, Beetlejuice will be the one that kicks that off. So, until next week, guys. Thank you, Casey, for joining us. We'll see you next week. Oh. Hey! Oh. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I'm going to eat a juice.